In every generation, there's a moment where everything changes. This is one of those moments. Introducing GE Additive. I'm Mohammed Adeshami. I'm a vice president and general manager for GE Additive. It's a new business. Right now we are with aviation uh, because we're very new, but uh, in future uh, we would be a, a vertical inside GE uh, focusing on uh, machine manufacturing, on uh, technology development for uh, additive, uh, using additive both uh, external, especially external to GE and internally for our consumption. Our goal is to produce uh, 10,000 machines over the next 10 years for our customers around the world, in addition to 1,000 or so for internal consumption of GE. Uh, you've been at GE for quite some time now, so when, when were you first introduced to additive manufacturing? So uh, I first actually came across of it in about 2007, 2008 uh, as part of a repair. And then in 2011, 2012, we heavily got involved with it through the fuel nozzle for our LEAP engine. And it's quite big news, the fact that um, GE have obviously invested in Concept Laser and Arcam. What do you hope to do with those new capabilities? So um, we want to grow uh, once we go through the legal procedures and we, rec we acquire those uh, uh, companies. Our goal is to expand them to make sure they, they serve their present customers and grow and uh, develop the technology, the speed, the capability of the machines so we can serve the industry better. And what are these immediate advantages that GE hopes to get from additive manufacturing? So several things, you know, uh, additive manufacturing is where physical and digital meet. So when you create an additive part, you're actually creating a digital twin because you, you print the additive layer by layer, 50 to 100 microns. And as you print these, this is a 3D model, computer-aided design that gets digitized and you have a digital model of it, what we call a digital twin. And it will be in cloud as this part goes through its life journey, you have a model of it and you can always uh, attach the model and the physical part and see how it's behaving versus what you were predicting. So you get smarter and smarter. So the digital tre uh, thread becomes a reality in this case. And GE has obviously just invested quite heavily in education as well. Do you think there's quite a skills gap in additive manufacturing and is this GE's way of fixing that? So, so yes and yes. So look, um, we, we love to make sure the children get exposed to technology at an earlier age. You know, if you look at my son versus my generation, my son got his iPhone when he was four or five years old. I didn't have an iPhone until I was 40, 50 years old. So when they grow up with it, it's, it becomes a second nature. We are uh, committed to give $10 million uh, to over the next uh, few years to both elementary and grade schools and also higher education, universities and colleges around the world to print both plastics and metals so people, students, they get used to additive manufacturing and they, this becomes a second nature and, and it becomes something that we can collectively collaborate and, and push forward. And you're obviously very passionate about additive I manufacturing. Am. It's a really exciting time to be part of the industry. Is there anything you're really interested in right now? Any innovations, any technologies that you're quite excited about? So yes, look, uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure we can continue to print larger and larger parts, more and more accuracy, faster speeds. It's all about speed size and ability to change the game. And I believe that, that additive manufacturing is transformational. It will be the next uh, industrial revolution. I truly believe it.